happy Friday. I just had an idea. I was driving home and I, the story popped in my head, a story that I've actually taught my students a lot of times. And it was the first part of the story that popped into my head. And I actually thought, man, this is a kid's story. Um, I've taught it to ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th graders, but there's a lot of wisdom in it for adults. And it's a very short story. It's called 11 by Sandra Cisneros, but I'm only going to read the first page. Um, it's three pages long, but I'm just going to read the first page. And then I'm going to tell you what popped in my head that applies to adults and relationships in particular. 11 by Sandra Cisneros. What they don't understand about birthdays and what they never tell you is that when you're 11, you're also 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. And when you wake up on your 11th birthday, you expect to feel 11, but you don't. You open your eyes and everything's just like yesterday, only it's today. And you don't feel 11 at all. You feel like you're still 10 and you are underneath the year that makes you 11. Like some days you might say something stupid and that's the part of you that's still 10. Or maybe some days you might need to sit on your mama's lap because you're scared. And that's the part of you that's five. And maybe one day when you're all grown up, maybe you will need to cry as if you're three and that's okay. That's what I tell mama when she's sad and needs to cry. Maybe she's feeling three because the way you grow old is kind of like an onion or like the rings inside a tree trunk, or like my little wooden dolls that fit one inside the other, each year inside the next one. That's how being 11 years old is. You don't feel 11, not right away. It takes a few days, weeks even, sometimes even months before you say 11 when they ask you. And you don't feel smart 11, not until you're almost 12. That's the way it is. So I'm going to stop right there. And what actually came to my mind is that when we're in relationships, friendships, romantic relationships, that we have different areas. You know, emotionally, we might be 20. Financially, we might be 50. Uh, socially, the way we relate to others, you know, our social skills might be 15. Financially, I said financially already, but the point is there's so many different areas of us. There's spirituality, there's financial, you know, responsibilities, there's adult responsibilities like, you know, paying your bills, keeping your house clean, cooking, cleaning, that kind of stuff. You know, there's all these different areas of us. And sometimes when we approach each other, we think, okay, this person is 36, so they should be 36. You know, they should have a 36 year old mentality. They should have a 36 year old lifestyle. But we can have those nesting dolls inside of us. And there can be many parts of us that are different ages. And sometimes we may need to work on those areas. We may need to work on our emotional maturity or our mental maturity. Are we still thinking the same way we did at 25? We may need to work on our financial maturity. We may need to work on our social skills. Have we matured socially? We may need to work on our spiritual maturity. We may need to work on these different areas. And sometimes I think that there's disconnect, confusion, anger, stress, frustration, because we sometimes may assume I'm dealing with a person of a certain age, they should be at this level, but we don't realize that every level or every area of our life can develop kind of independent of the others. You don't, just because you turn 36, like the story is saying, you don't feel 36. You know, you, it may take a while for all of the areas of your life to get to 36 or 40 or 50. And some of them may never get there because physical growth, years, time passing. Well, first off, time is a construct that we made up. You know, it doesn't really exist in terms of the clocks exist. All right. We know that um, our bodies change and things like that, but putting the calendar, the way that we set up time, we could have set it up a totally different way. The idea that there's 24 hours in a day and 365 days in a year, that there's 12 months in a year, calendars have changed. You know, it didn't used to be the case. You know, so what I'm trying to say is this idea that because 365 days have passed, 
that we are somehow more mature. It doesn't work for everybody. Sometimes you actually have to put effort forth. In, you know, mentally, you have to use your brain. You have to think. You might have to read. You might have to research. You might have to, you know, challenge ideas and thought processes that you were given to grow up mentally. You know, financially, you may need to make certain decisions, you know, learn how to save, learn how to invest, you know, learn how to put off delay gratifi gratification and not, you know, jump on everything spur of the moment to grow up financially. So some things, they don't just happen because these 365 days pass and we're a year older. They actually take work. And so I think that when I was thinking about the story, just out of the blue, it kind of made me think, yeah, we, we kind of have to, when we're looking at people, realize that they could be a set of nesting dolls. And on the outside, their age might be 36 or 45 or 50, but there's all kind of nesting dolls within them. And all of those nesting dolls can represent all of the different ages that they are and all the different levels of maturity that they have in many different areas. And so as we're getting to know each other, you know, the first step in love is knowledge. As we're getting to know each other, let's see how mature is this person? How developed is this person? Are they really a compatible level with me? Am I co a compatible level with them? Not just in age, but in actual development. And so I thought that I would share that with you because I thought it was kind of cool, that story and how it could apply to relationships and, and maturity on many different levels. May you walk in Zenergy.